Hello guys, this is Mike from Nitro Speed. Hope you're all doing well. <sighs> Brought some more cars out for my uh, new video here. And uh, pretty soon I'm going to be out of cars to show you. But anyway, first one I have here is the uh, Don Prudhomme, the snake. Very legendary, funny car. And, uh, it's really one of my, one of my favorite, uh, funny car drivers of all time. And, uh, just truly love this. Really glad I have this in my collection. It's really sweet. It brings back a lot of memories of my childhood growing up watching this guy race. But anyway, I got a new battery for my uh, turntable here because it just wouldn't turn. I get no sunlight in here, so, and it is solar, but I'm going to have to do something about my window here because it just won't shut all the way. So I'm going to have to check the tracking and the lock and everything. And uh, so anyway, guys, let's get down to it. That's the first one. And uh, we're looking good here, guys. Just trying to uh, get everything situated. I had to run down to the uh, Walgreens and get me a batteries from my turntable. And I got some Energizer lithium batteries, so it'll last a little bit longer until I can get that window fixed. <sighs> well, that's good. Had to get me a Dr. Pepper as well. My favorite soda. All right. Whoa, whoa. No. Oh, crap. Went too full. Got it all over the road. Bear with me, guys. I got a little mess here. A little bit. I'm going to have to uh, clean this up. Bear with me a bit, guys. Sorry. I have to get a, get a towel. Should it? I didn't think I was gonna overflow. That's okay. I got it though. Thank God for towels. Gotta get some uh, Windex here and clean this up because I don't want to leave it because it'll get sticky. Like I said, thank God for towels. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Just a little break in the action. We got it cleaned up just a little bit. All right, guys. Let's get to the next car. Okay. Next one is my Chevette. It's, a, it's from the Cool Classics. It's a Spectra Frost. It is a sweet looking car. So, like a Pro modified Vega. So it's just so beautiful. I love the color. The color is just absolutely gorgeous. I like this green. <sighs> okay, guys. Let's, uh, one more time around, and we'll go ahead and go to the next one. I like this, uh, Spectra Frost. It's so beautiful. And the Spectra Flame really makes the paint stand out. Okay, guys, let's go to the next one. 69 Pontiac Firebird. Love this blue color. She sure is beautiful. Hey guys, I have a question for you too. Uh, when you see this video, how do you turn this off? Is there a switch on this thing that you turn this turntable off? 
I have no clue. If you can, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, guys, one more time around. We'll go to the next one. I don't want to make this a 30-minute video, so. All right, guys, that's the uh, 69 Pontiac Firebird. Next is the Deuce Roadster. Uh, that's beautiful. Here, i got to center it here. There we go. Looks a little better. Gorgeous piece. I really like it. Love these little roadsters. Sorry, you guys. I had to take a drink. Yeah, that's beautiful. I like the color. Not too bad looking. Boy, the real riders on this thing would look really, really sweet. I know I always talk about it, but I'm just, I'm just one of those that too afraid to uh, make the attempt to do it because I'm afraid I might uh, goof it up. But I think it was Dyson who told me or somebody like that, Mike Dyson, had told me that uh, if I tried out one of my doubles or one of my junk cars, you know, might learn how to do it. But I'm just so afraid of making a mistake and screwing the car up. So I guess something I just got to practice at and work on. All right, guys, let's go ahead and go to the next one. It's a Midnight Auto. Okay, guys, here we go. Yeah, that one's beautiful. I love these Midnight Autos. Gorgeous. I like the paint job on this one. I really like this. Really sweet. I had to polish and wax each and every one of these before the video, so... These cars are all nice and clean, except the ones that were in the case. I don't have to worry about that because uh, no dust gets in them. But these things look really, really nice once they're cleaned up. But that truly is a gorgeous piece right there. I really like it. Nice car to cruise in, or road to say. It's really nice. Go to the car shows in. All right, guys, let's go ahead and go to the next one. Sixty-three Nova Gasser. Back this up a little bit. I think I'm blurring it, but yeah, I, just, I love this Gasser. Really sweet looking. I love the color too, the red. It's like a fire engine red. That was the only one that I needed for my entire uh, Drag Strip Demons collection. And uh, now I have a whole collection now. I'm really glad I do. Plus I have a few extras, which I'm really grateful to have. And uh, Pretty sweet looking. Let it go around one more time. Because we're going on nine minutes already and I'm barely even going halfway through. So one more time here to the other side and we'll get to the next one. All right, guys. There we go. Next one is a classic 55 Nomad. It's got the black walls on it. My good friend Gary from Gary's Hot Wheels collection uh, sent me this, and uh, I'm very grateful. And I've seen his uh, Nomad collection. That's pretty sweet. He has a lot of Chevy Nomads, and this is definitely one of my favorite uh, Hot Wheels of all time. Definitely in my top five, that's for sure. Along with the Beatnik Bandit and... Uh, uh, 67 Camaro, uh, the Red Baron, 
and the uh what was it uh paddy wagon which they renamed it later on called uh copper stopper or something like that but uh i like this way better the uh, paddy wagon way better but i'm just grateful that gary sent me this i'm really grateful and the hood does open on this so i would go around one more time we'll go to the next one that's some pretty sweet uh cars on the table tonight i just love using this turntable it works so great Glad I added this, and these things aren't very expensive at all. They're like five, six bucks, but they take about three weeks to get here from China. All right, guys, one more time around. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, guys, Where, there you are. Next one's a Pontiac GTO Judge, like the orange. This one's really a sweet ride. I have about five, four or five of the Pontiac GTO judge, judges. Yeah, I have the uh, black one, a yellow one, a couple of yellow ones, orange, and I think I have just a blue one or something like that one. But I like the uh, yellow and the orange ones. The One of the yellow ones I have is a uh, Johnny Lightning, and that's really a sweet looking ride. All right, guys, let's have it go around to the other side, and we'll go to the next one. We're down. We have three left. All right, guys. Let's go to the next one. And this one's a 37 Ford. It's like a 37 Ford Woody. My wife really likes her, the Woodies. She really likes these. These are really sweet looking. I love these. This one I really like the most. It's got the real riders on there. Really stands out when you put the real riders on. <clears throat> yeah, this one's really a sweet looking piece. Yeah. I like the color of it too. The black on top, the brown, and the uh, it's like an orangish, like a darker orange color. Really sweet though. This would definitely be a good cruising car. All right, guys, I go around to the. We'll turn one more time around, halfway around to the left side, driver's side, and then I'll go ahead and put the next one on. All right, guys, let's go to the next one. Whoops. Okay, guys. Yeah, this, big fan of this. Custom V8 Vega. Big fan of these Vegas. Really like these a lot. Like this yellow with the black. Really a beautiful looking car. I have, I think, two Vegas in my collection and one Chevette. So glad I have both these Vegas. So many of you guys know I'm a big Chevy guy. So Novas, Chevelles. The Nomads, uh, the Vegas, even the pickup trucks, the vans I like a lot. Okay, guys, let it go one more time around. I'll come around to the driver's side and we'll go to the next and last one. 
All right, guys, that's it for the Chevy Vega. Okay, last one, Dairy Delivery. Love the Spectra Flame Blue. It's like a candy apple blue. Really a sweet piece. Color in this is gorgeous. It just shines. Shines in the light real good. Try and get me some uh, LED lights. So I can put them around. Uh, I just don't want to facing uh, towards the camera because then it takes away the uh, the view of the vehicle. So I like to point it at the vehicle. So you know from the camera towards the vehicle so it look a lot better but this one uh it's gonna be the last one of the night and hope you enjoyed this guys it's really really cool and uh thank you guys all for your support i'm very grateful and uh Thank each and every one of you guys, and we're coming up on the holiday. And, uh, it'll be Thanksgiving a week from today. And, uh, gonna be here before you know it, and Christmas will be here in the first. Gone by so fast. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. It's going out 17 minutes right now. I want to make it shorter than last night's, which was all, almost over 20. Oh, I'll just leave this on the turntable. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. i got to download this so you guys can see the video. Hope you enjoyed this. To all you guys, have a great night. Be good to each other. Be well. And we'll definitely be talking to you guys real soon. Mike from Nitro Speed at Rocky Mountain Speedway. I'm out of here. See ya.